Hello friends and welcome to my video on stable diffusion. So friends, we know that automatic 1111 is probably one of the best uh, web UI interface to uh, create those AI images, but it is very difficult to set up. I know that when I was first setting up automatic 1111, I was absolutely clueless. I mean, you have to install GitHub, you have to install uh, Python, and it has to be done in a certain way. So it was quite difficult. And for someone who has never had to do these things or doesn't have a very clear idea about Python or GitHub and, and how it works and how to set up things, it can be very daunting indeed. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to really get it done very easily and in just one click. And for that, we have this um, Web UI installer by Empire Media Science, which I have used recently. And I think that this is this makes life really, really easy. All right, um, I, I my present installation my present installation of uh, automatic 1111 is running on this web UI installer and I'll show you how it's done and what are the benefits of it. And I think that you can start using A1111 in no time. So uh, this is the page. This is the website for downloading uh, this web UI installer. I'll give you the link in my description. As you can see, all you need to do is you can just, you have to just download an installer. There's this latest release, EXE. You download it and then uh, you click it and then you will take care of uh, rest of the things you don't have to worry about installing git you don't have to worry about you know pull requests or you don't have to worry about installing python in so and so places it will do everything for you okay so i'll go into the details of it but let's just download and install it first so i'm just going to download it um okay the latest release so as you can see it has an exe so you download the exe i'll download it and then run it for you okay so it's been downloaded so i'm gonna double click and yes here it's going to take some time and now it's asking me where do i want to install it so uh, i don't want to install it here so i'm just going to uh, create a new folder here which is automatic 11 11 and i'm going to install it inside here so I'm going to show this uh, uh, installer, this directory. Okay, select the folder and just install. So it's going to do everything for you. It's going to install whatever that you need to do and it's been installed and it's done. So then what's the next thing to do? As you can see inside this automatic 11.11 folder, you have this icon. Just click on this, say yes. And now it's going to clone the repositories and everything that you need into this automatic 11.11 folder, which I have just created. All right. It's going to install the Python to and create the path. It's going to install Git. It's going to do everything for you. So this is one more thing. It will actually automatically also download and install the SD 1.5 model as well. You want to click yes here. So you'll click yes, but I'm not going to do all of that because I have already had it installed. So I'm going to say no and I'm going to, uh, oh, it's actually already installed. So you can actually sort of run it. So when you run it for the first time, you will get this window, which you always need to have running because this is where all the magic actually happens. So if you close it down, your uh, web UI actually, or your stable division actually closes down. So you're going to just keep it open. And this window is where you set your options. So I will walk you through the options. The first thing you want to do is you want to set the checkpoint folder. Now, using this launcher, you can actually set a separate checkpoint folder, which I have in a separate folder, instead of having all my models inside uh, automatic 1111. So I want to do that. I want to select the other folder that I have, which I keep for my uh, models. So it's actually here. So I'm going to go there. And this is where all my models are. So I've set this and the default VAE is uh, somewhere here. This is the folder. This is the default VAE. So I'm just uh, going to open this VAE and then I'm going to select these two. So this, what this one does is that it auto updates the UI every time you launch it. So as you know, uh, the web UI almost launches probably every night. There is something updating almost every night. So this will actually automatically update your web UI every time you launch it. So it's something that you want to select. Then there is auto update extension. This will automatically update all of the extensions that you have 
download it using your automatic level level so again this is something you want to check the third option you don't want to check because what it will do is whatever work that you have generated whatever you have created it will actually delete all of them which you don't want because personally i want to keep all of my generations so i'm not going to check this so be careful of what you do with this checkbox then if you have low vram if you have a gpu with less than 8 gb then you want to check this so i have a gpu with 8 gb so i don't want to check this and i don't want to use this because somehow in my computer enable x formers i feel that it makes it much slower and so everything's done i have saved it so i can now launch web ui so again as you can see while launching it will actually do an update and then it will actually launch web ui but before that i think it's going to do some more installations you might have to wait a little bit longer for it to install everything so we'll just wait a little bit longer and make sure that everything is installed everything is running perfectly before we go on and actually uh, run or create an image in uh, automatic 11 okay guys so basically everything is installed and it automatically loaded up so now i can simply start generating so as i said you have to have uh, this window open because this is where everything is actually going on in the background so if you close this window basically stable diffusion will stop working so you need to keep it running and just forget about this and just start working with stable diffusion so guys i just took a break and installed a few more uh, things to my automatic 1111 installations for example i added multiple hyper network i added control net and now it's working fine and as you can see i have done one generation so I think that this is probably the best way and the easiest way to install automatic 11.11 in your computers and you don't need any kind of technical skills whatsoever. So definitely give it a try. Uh, the link of the installer is in my uh, video description. So go there and download and give it a try and let me know how it worked for you. So if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe and like my channel. So see you again. Till then, goodbye.